My oh my, what a difference a day makes. It was just last night, right around this time when I was making this video for you uh, that you see right here in which the customer is yelling at the business owner and I was telling you about how uh, the customer was upset at me about a poster that they had received because uh, they were upset that there was some tape on the side of it and that it had been trimmed and not evenly trimmed. This is the poster uh, right here, if you remember. And the person told me that uh, the poster was now worthless. And I said in the uh, video that the poster wasn't actually worthless. It still had some value uh, even uh, with these uh, flaws uh, being disclosed, the person left the negative feedback for me and I took you through how I dealt with the customer, how I wound up getting the item back so that I could resell it and how I eventually wound up getting the uh, negative feedback removed. So if you're interested in that, go back and check out uh, that video. In fact, I'll leave a link to it at the very end of the video so it's easy for you to access uh, if you missed it. But uh, it's interesting, you know, you could see here as I scroll up and I don't normally say this stuff at the beginning of the video, but it's relevant to what I'm gonna tell you next. But you could see here that we just crossed over to uh, 9,000 subscribers. So thank everybody who has subscribed. And if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe because we are trying to get to a goal of 10 thousand subscribers by the end of the calendar year it's going to be a challenge but we may be able to pull it off but with your help and somebody who helped me uh, in my facebook group uh, from the facebook reselling resource center is uh, troy shockley he runs a great ebay store here you can see it's called mountain man treasure so i would advise you to go check it out i'll leave a link to it down below in the description section you can see he has all sorts of uh, cool items uh, in his store but you'll see that there's one difference with the poster over here that I showed you last night is that now uh, it shows that it was sold to none other than Mountain Man Treasure. So uh, Troy was awesome. He was uh, very happy. He sent me a message, congratulated me on uh, getting over the 9K mark. And uh, he was nice enough to purchase the poster for $32. So uh, again, just, just funny, just goes to show, you know, it actually did have value to somebody and uh, Troy's going to uh, put it in a frame and it's going to look nice. And so uh, I hope he's happy. Now he's got a piece also of uh, primetime treasure hunter history from the channel. And uh, I uh, hope he enjoys it uh, when he looks at it in his man cave or uh, wherever. So this is one of the many posters I was telling you about uh, in the video last night that I had sourced in this video here called uh, Thousands of Dollars of Treasures Found in a Barn in the Middle of Nowhere. So I'll link to that down below in the description section if you want to see that. Uh, it is uh, almost up to 3,000 views. A lot of people have checked it out. There were so many cool posters in there. You could see here as I play it. It's funny as I look back at this now, this is a couple months ago, you know, a lot of these posters have already uh, sold. There have been... Uh, a few to, like this one right here sold for 300 bucks uh, right around there uh the batman poster that you saw uh just sold this one right here uh this one right now is up for sale at the primetime treasure ebay store for 29.99 so if you're interested in that one and you're watching this anywhere close to november 26 go check that out now these are all the posters you could see tons and tons of posters and i wound up getting most of those posters that you see there and so uh, that poses a challenge because you have to list those. And when they sell, you need to find a way to ship them out. And I continue to marvel when I go to estate sales that people continuously leave posters there. In fact, the last estate sale that I went to, you remember I found all those military posters. Uh, people tend to leave them there because they're crumpled up like this and they just don't want to take the time uh, to, to open them up. And if there's a lot like this that are out, they could get overwhelmed by it. You can see there. I mean, I can't. I, there were so many people that stood right in the front of those posters who walked in and they just said, I'm overwhelmed after looking at one or two and they just walked out. And I just stayed there and, you know, picked through them and wound up getting all the uh, the, the best ones and leaving the one. And, and if Metal Flippin' Mel is watching this, that's a heavy metal one right there that she uh, bought for me. So that was a cool poster. That one sold for 40 bucks. So uh, there's just 
there's just so many awesome posters, but you need a way to ship them. And that's something that uh, intimidates people is how the heck do I ship posters, especially if you're brand new, you're used to putting something in a box or an envelope, but what do you do with these posters? And so uh, one of the things that I see people bring up when this topic is discussed and people ask about posters is they say, well, you know, you don't have to pay anything to actually get poster tubes. One of the things you could do is just, you could just get them for free through the post office. And so people always put this link out there uh, to uh, pr for priority mail. And it is true, as you can see here, that the cost is $0. And they will be shipped to you for $0. You could order them in packs of 10 or 20. They're these little triangular-shaped cardboard uh, boxes. Uh, the problem with them, though, is that they require that if you're going to use them, you are going to pay priority mail postage. And for the vast, vast majority of posters that you are going to wind up uh, shipping out, they are not going to go over a pound. And so, I mean, there are some that will, but most of them won't. Most of them you could safe, safely ship first class. And that actually brings me to another side tip that I want to tell you about. I've heard many people say, well, you can't uh, ship the posters because you know, this is a poster tube right here. I've shown this in some other videos. This is what I tend to use right here. Um, this is not like a little flimsy cardboard thing. This is nice and strong uh, cardboard. And uh, people say, well, when I put the dimensions in and I go to ship it first class, it won't let me ship it. You don't need to enter dimensions when you are shipping something first class. So if you put the dimensions in, it won't let you. But all you have to do is just put the number of ounces in there. So let's say typical average poster like this, which is you know going out to Troy, would be a seven ounce or six ounce poster. So all you type in an eBay where it says the weight is six ounces, seven ounces, anything uh, 16 ounces or less. And yes, when you are doing it online with eBay, it is 16 ounces or less. It's different when you walk into the post office, but eBay has a special deal with the post office that they extend um, first class mail up to 16 ounces. So when you do that, you do not have to uh, enter any kind of dimensions and then you'll get the first class uh, shipping rate. And that's going to save you several dollars in shipping, uh, depending on where it's going to, because first class shipping now is based on regional uh, rates. So keep that in mind. So I would uh, not advise you to use the priority mail uh, shipping tubes. I would say to uh, to avoid those unless you do have something that's going to uh, go out. It's really heavy or something. It's very thick, you know, a very long poster that's wrapped around the lot and it's going to go out uh, priority anyway. Then you could get some of those, have them on hand and uh, use them. But I would still tend to avoid those because that type of cardboard uh, box, which is similar to this one here, although the one from Priority is uh, has a triangular opening. This one has a, uh, a regular uh, square opening. Uh, these tend to be made of cardboard that can easily be crushed or you know squished and stuff. So I tend to avoid these. These I've said before and shown these are like baseball bats. These are not going to break. Whereas this right here, this is just much more clunky and you know, all it needs to do is be mishandled and the poster inside is going to get crushed. No way is this poster going to get uh, crushed. And this is only a 0 0.06 inch uh, thickness for the posters. And you'll see this when you go and you look to pick out poster tubes, it'll give you different levels of thickness. So 0.6 is more than sufficient. They have ones that are thicker, 0.8 and stuff, but you don't need that. 0.6 uh, is fine. So uh, what are most people, especially if you're brand new, what are you going to do if you're looking to get a poster tube? Well, if you just have one poster or two posters and you're just starting out, you're probably going to go over to a place like Staples and you're going to look and you're either going to get a two foot one or a three foot one, depending on um, you know how, how tall the poster is. A two inch opening is pretty much all you need. That's what uh, this is right here. It's, a, it's just a standard uh, two inch opening. So uh, that's important because if you get it uh, smaller than that, it's gonna be hard to fit the uh, poster in. So that's about perfect as, uh, as a two inch uh, opening right there. So uh, you don't wanna pay though really, you know, three bucks, 350 per per mailing tube. And that's what you'll see sometimes when you go into places like Staples or, or Office Max. So what people will try to do then is they'll go online and uh, they will try to buy them in bulk. And so this is staples.com right here. And you can see this is our standard two and a half inch uh, uh, by 24. And so 
I said two inch, but uh, you could also do, this is a two inch opening, but you could do two and a half inch as well. So um, this one's gonna run you for 34, only 34 is gonna run you $68.45. So if you run the math on that, and that does uh, include the shipping. So um, 68, let's just run some numbers here so you'll see what I'm talking about. 68.45 uh, divided by 34, uh, you're paying two dollars uh, per mailing tube and that's not where you want to be you really want to be uh, less than a dollar for the mailing tube so this becomes uh, untenable it's not something that i'm going to use now one of the things i also want you to keep in mind is that it says craft mailing tube okay so there's generally two types of mailing tubes that you're going to see when you're looking for these circular ones you're gonna see the um, craft mailing tubes, which are basically uh, cardboard mailing tubes, like you could see here. You know, just gonna have this brown outside. But if you want one that looks a little more professional, you could go with the white mailing tubes. Now, normally the white mailing tubes cost more than the craft mailing tubes, but um, it just depends on you know what's going on, what deals are going on at the time. Uh, this one here, you could see there's 34 for 52. Uh, 39 so if we run the math uh, on that one real quick so 52 uh, 39 divided by 34 we're gonna be a little bit better but we're still at a dollar fifty uh, per mailing tube now it might not sound that bad you know if you just had one or so but if you get as many posters as I was showing you over here those costs quickly add up because I had tons and tons of posters and if you see from my other videos like I mentioned just the last one I just keep finding them and finding them and finding them so it's important now that I'm selling posters in bulk and you may find something like this as well you need a bulk solution in terms of um, you know poster tubes mailing tubes that are going to be um, uh, cost effective for you so what a lot of people also say is they'll say go to Uline well okay so this is the Uline website and Uline is a great uh, company they make a uh, great product they make a lot of um, squishing some right over here they make some good uh, air pillows uh, there's lots of good products Uline makes in fact they're pretty much a gold standard company for a lot of uh, shipping supplies they're an excellent company but if you're purchasing materials from their website uh, initially you know it could be a little misleading because if you look here uh, we've got the 2x24 craft mailing tubes uh, with the end caps uh, on them to keep it secure. Um, you could get them in uh, multiples of 50. And so right here, if we just went to get uh, 50 for 2 by 24 uh, inch and a 0 .060 uh, thickness, so 50 per carton, you're going to see here that that's going to bring us a price of $42. Now that sounds great, except when you click view cart, and check out, well, guess what? That's gonna cost $20 shipping. That's not free shipping. So that's gonna be $62 divided by 50, and that's gonna give us $1.24. It's better, right? We're making progress, but we're still not under that $1 target where we want to be. So um, these poster tubes that you see right here, I wound up getting these uh, off of eBay a long time ago, and then when I came across this, um, uh, you know, big poster uh, score, you know, I was using some of these leftovers, but I ran out eventually, and I needed to re-up, and so I started to do uh, some, you know, basically updated work on trying to find where was the best deal online, uh, and also even locally for uh, poster tubes. Now, before I get into that, I do want to mention that there is a way that you can get uh, poster tubes or mailing tubes for free or things that you could use as mailing tubes for free. So for example, uh, this right here that I have, okay, you could use it if you want to, okay, it, it will work perfectly fine, although it's not as strong as, as these, but uh, this one right here, as you can see here, uh, came from a lighting company right there. So this had uh, some uh, lighting material inside of it, and if you go to lighting stores, Okay, they will often have boxes like this that they discard once they do their inventory 
uh, during the day and you could talk to a manager and you could ask to come by and pick up large numbers of them. Sometimes they'll even have things that look like they're in circular tubes like this. You could go to Pier 1 Imports. That's another place that uh, has things like this. You could go over to construction sites where they're taking uh, pipes out and uh, wires that might come in boxes like this and you could get these things for free as well. So there are free sources and you may know of some other free sources as well that you could put down into the comment section so other people could look over there and get some additional tips. I'm just giving you a few examples. I mean, you may even find something like this, maybe even in the in a grocery store if you're walking around, depending on what type of inventory uh, they're going to through. But lighting stores typically are the best places to get these uh, types of things for free. But that being said, even 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 with that, let's say you you know you get a situation where you could get some of these things for free. If you come into a score where you've got hundreds of posters or over a hundred posters, you know, the chances that you're going to find a hundred free boxes in the lighting store are pretty low. Uh, plus, if you work full time like myself, it's harder to get around to places like that to start scooping up all of these boxes. You know, I do the best I can with getting uh, uh, free shipping material and free boxes uh, that I use. Um, you know, a lot of it is behind me uh, right now, but sometimes it does pay uh, there's a convenience to it to paying for getting shipping materials in bulk and the same goes for the uh, the poster tubes and so what I did is I basically scoured everywhere that I could find online and I also by the way and you could try this as well in your area you may have a local shipping store like a private shipping place like I'm not talking about uh, Office Max or Office Depot or Staples or something like that. Not a big company, but you might have a local supplier that sometimes may be able to get you a good deal. So I actually reached out to my local uh, place in uh, Liverpool, uh, New York. Uh, if Metal Flip and Mel is watching this, she'll appreciate the reference there. But, um, you know, they sent me a quote. They didn't have any in store. They said they could order some. And what they wound up sending me was more expensive than what I could get off of Amazon uh, or actually eBay for that matter. So let me show you the two places that I would recommend going to and looking at and the actual companies. And I'm gonna show you the one that I'm actually using uh, right now and used it successfully, no problems whatsoever, and they're highly rated. It's uh, this company right here. It's uh, called Aviditi. And they're gonna send you, this is for the craft tube. So you've got 50, tube so not a pack of 34 we're talking a pack of 50 and you can see here that i did purchase it on november 1st verifying what i am telling you for 45 dollars and 50 cents so let's run uh those numbers right there so obviously it's going to be less than a dollar so 45 50 divided by 50 and that gives us a total of 91 cents but Here's one of the things that I recommend doing if you're not doing this. I have an Amazon credit card, so every time I buy something on Amazon, I get points, and I apply those points to my business, and I, it basically functions somewhat like a gift card. And so I applied a $25 credit onto this order. So now we're going to take the $45.50 minus $25. I do this all the time with shipping supply stuff. And now we got $20.50, and we're going to divide that by 50. And now I only paid $0.41 cents per uh, poster tube. And so that really adds up when you're talking about sending out hundreds of posters. And they send it to you in this big box right here, as you can imagine. I mean, it is pretty big. So I know you can't see it super well because I've got the screen uh, minimized, but you get the point that this is a huge box. And inside the box, you're gonna have all of these poster tubes right here, and obviously there's 50 of them, and they are empty here. Well, very simple. What you have to do is you just have to take out these caps, which come in a separate bag like this. So here's all your caps. and very easy you just put the poster in there and then you just attach the caps right here you just press them on just like that they snap on really good and if you remember from my other videos i do recommend when you ship out the posters that you still put tape around it uh and then you also wrap tape around this side to keep everything secure because you don't want someone to just pop this off pull your poster out 
and um, you're never gonna you're never gonna know who did that. You want to make that definitely more of a challenge by tightly tapping some tape around these uh, little tabs at the end. But these are excellent, and as you can see here, these are the actual ones that are right there on the screen, but also very strong, as you could hear. I mean, these are solid, just as solid as those ones that I got on eBay. Now, some people prefer uh, Amazon. Some people prefer eBay. If you like eBay, there is a comparable uh, company that does also give you a great deal on poster tubes uh, right here. Again, they're the craft tubes. They look very uh, familiar. Now, I didn't purchase those exact ones. So I can't tell you exactly, but the person does have uh, a lot of sales, obviously, a lot of repeat business, I would imagine, and um, uh, pretty good feedback record there at 99.9%. Uh, and so you could see there just a little bit more, 4650 with free standard uh, shipping. So um, I went with the Amazon because it is a tiny bit lower, not obviously by much, but also because I had that $25 uh, credit that I could apply. Uh, and also it is eligible there, as you can see, for prime shipping. So um, that's the one that I would uh, suggest. But you also have to monitor the price because sometimes the prices vary. You can see here, the price originally on this was $90.40. And the interesting thing is that when I had first looked at this, the price was like $20 higher and then they just cut it down to $45.50. So I can't tell you what the exact price is going to be when you go and look at it. But as of now, as of November 26th, 2019, that is the price. So, you know, if something changes after this drastically, you know, I'm sorry uh, in advance, but uh, right now, this is the best deal for you. Now, I am going to put a link to these down below uh, in the description section, as well as the ones from the eBay store as well. Those are affiliate links, so if you do click on those and make a purchase, it does help to support the channel a little bit. So uh, I would appreciate that, but I do highly recommend these. As you can see, uh, I am uh, recommending a product that uh, I actually use in, in this one and giving you a disclaimer that I haven't literally used this one yet, but again, all the reasons why I think it would work out pretty well. And these I did purchase off eBay, and um, these worked out very well uh, also. So that is the uh, primer on this, and uh, I hope that it was helpful for you. Uh, one uh, note just for later on during the week, you could see here, I do have the uh, preview up right now uh, for the interview that I'm going to do at noon on Wednesday with Steve Rakin profit. I mean, it is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to have him uh, in Primetime Treasures uh, eat, uh, uh, YouTube channel here. Uh, the Primetime Treasure Hunter YouTube channel is going to be a lot of fun. It's the first time uh, he has ever been on for an interview. I've been trying to get this interview for the longest time. Uh, as you know, I did uh, go over to uh, Steve's place and uh, we shot six videos together. I've been interviewed on his channel, but uh, this is the first time having him over here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, that's this Wednesday. Uh, so that's going to be the 27th, actually. Uh, so because technically it's late again. It's 1224. Last night it was 1 o'clock in the morning when I was doing this video. So uh, come on over. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do three giveaways, by the way. So I'm going to be giving away a mystery box. Steve is going to be giving away five of his guides. Five guides. So uh, And also... Uh, I'm going to give away, someone is going to get the coveted Support That Seller Sunday slot where over 13,000 people from my Facebook group go out and they go to purchase from the person who selected. And yesterday, just to give you a sense of this, yesterday's person who was selected from the Facebook group made $549 in sales in one day. The picture of the sales was crazy. I mean, it was just all over the place. There were so many packages. It was, it was over 30 packages. It was, it was amazing. It was great to see. It was a record-breaking day of sales for him and so many other people who are selected for that event. It's a record-breaking day for them. It means a lot. So uh, this is one of the few times that I actually give that slot away. Usually it's something that is earned through uh, you know, supporting uh, the communities uh, that I've built up and being a positive member uh, in the Facebook group. So 
uh, come on by. Now, you do have to have entered to be part of this giveaway. The uh, formal rules were posted in my Facebook group, and that's why it's important to go over there and be a member. If you're not, you're missing out on so many opportunities. It doesn't make sense to not be a member over there. Even if you don't like Facebook, if you left Facebook, there's a lot of people in my group that the only reason they're on Facebook is to be in there. And that's frankly the only reason really why I'm in there, except for a couple other reseller groups that I uh, personally belong to as well but you know it's mostly to run my own uh, Facebook group so come on by uh, I don't think that uh, you'll regret it uh, also make sure again you subscribe to the channel like the video if you enjoyed it pass it on to others if you feel it will be helpful and come over to my Instagram account I'm putting stuff up there more frequently that's at prime underscore time underscore treasure I'll see you back at the next video everyone take care